Celtics survive a tenacious effort from the Atlanta Hawks, who, despite their 3-13 and record, appear to be a significantly better team than that. So they just need to finish, learn how to close out games. But uh, they really brought the heat today. And uh, Celtics are lucky to have survived it because the first quarter was ugly and the Celtics were down. Um, before we brought it back to like five point first quarter, end of first quarter deficit, we were like 10, 12, 13, 15, I don't know, 13 at least points down. But we came back, survived, and mostly due to the bench. Late in the game, the uh, starters came back and started playing well, but this was really a bench effort for the most part to make it anyway. It was, a, it was a split effort for sure. Everybody shined. Everybody shined. 48% from the field, 47% from three. That is scorching hot. 80% from the line. Uh, Hawks shot the lights out too. Uh, 47. Well, uh, yeah, they just they shot. They just played solid. Very impressive. And the Celtics defense did not appear to be really on today, especially in the first, second quarter. So another trap game. And Celtics definitely got trapped early. But they found a way to turn it on. I wouldn't be surprised if Brad Stevens said, remember when I said that we're not as good as our 14-game win streak? I was serious. You guys need to prove to me right now that you are as good as that win streak because right now you're not looking like it. I don't know. That's what I would have said. But <laughs> maybe Brad Stevens said something like that. But Kyrie Irving scorching hot. Jalen Brown scorching hot. The Jalen Brown all-star campaign goes into overdrive so he's going on emotion right now a little bit these last two games because his best friend died right so sometimes when there's that emotional overdrive that drives a player to um you know a few peak performances there can be a an emotional letdown and then struggle to find that energy as the sort of weight of the situation sets in but hopefully we don't see that hopefully jalen brown keeps the spirit of his best friend alive all season and makes dedicates the season to him, puts together an all-star all campaign and brings us to the number one seed in the East, get us to the finals, Jalen. Uh, what an opportunity. You know, if, if uh, Gordon Hayward put up a performance like this tonight, 13 shots and 27 points, uh, people would be saying he's worth every, every penny of his $30 million. So we're getting 30... <laughs> We're getting $25 million worth out of Jalen Brown for like $5 million a year. And uh, so, yeah, Celtics were very cold early, didn't have that energy. Speaking of emotional letdowns, once you beat the Warriors and you're, you're on a 13-game win streak and you beat the Warriors, there's going to be an emotional letdown after that, right? So that's what partially explained the you know, first quarter. And uh, Celtics refound their energy. Brad Stevens got them going, and they got themselves going, and they knocked down their shots because if they had not been so scorching hot tonight, we probably would have lost this game. Probably would have lost. So uh, J Jason Tatum, he's got this habit now. It's becoming a pattern of starting out very cold, not aggressive, not looking for a shot, and not necessarily hitting his shots early, right? Luckily, he's been turning it on every single game. As consistently inconsistent as he is early in the games, he's equally consistent at being consistent in the clutch when it matters, second half, and being a key contributor to getting the Celtics to squeeze out these close wins. Uh, Al Horford, an off night, very much. Very much an off night, but again, we got it done. So the bench, let's see, Marcus Smart, he had like three Tommy points in a row late fourth quarter. He had the huge rebound and put back. Then he comes back on the other end, gets a steal. Then Kyrie Irving blows the break by throwing the ball at Jason Tatum's knees. And then coming back, Marcus Smart draws the charge with a pretty nice acting job. Either that or he really got hit in the nose. But either way, uh, bench continuing to provide consistent impact. And it's just a deeper bench than most other teams that we've faced. But uh, guys, let me know what you thought of the game because the win streak is up to 15. And uh, I got to check the schedule, but I'm pretty sure it's favorable. So as long as they keep their heads in the game, keep themselves motivated, find their own sources of motivation and inspiration, this thing is just going to keep chugging along. 
All right, guys, I will see you soon. Peace.